Hey peeps and welcome to a brand new episode of Brogue. So I have been doing some learning. This game is incredibly difficult. I have yet to make it past level five. I've been playing it quite a bit. Um, but I have been doing some learning that I want to teach you guys. So um, right now I'm just moving with the keyboard. I do use the mouse. I like the mouse functionality, but I'm trying to be a little bit slow. Okay, so we just got some banded mail. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to wear it because we don't have the strength and it's gonna actually do more harm than good if we start wearing it now. So we're gonna wait on that. And we're instead going to just keep going with what we have. And I'm just looking for, now I'm using the keyboard to move, but sometimes I like to explore, oh nice. Another staff. I'm actually going to use one of these just so we can learn what it does. I don't think it did anything. Should I use staff? Apply. Did I throw it? Okay, I... I bet you have to apply them on yourself. Nope, I have no idea. I have no idea what's going on there. Okay, we got the jackal. We dispatched the kobold in its sleep. We should be able to find out what it's doing, what it does, so I'm just not sure. What's going on there? Um. Okay. Oh, we gotta kill that kobold. Nice, pretty door there. This game is super difficult. So if I'm really quiet, it's because I'm concentrating, which seems like, what do you have to concentrate on? You're barely doing anything. Okay, have we pretty well explored the whole thing? Yep, we're ready to go down. Okay, thankfully we got that jackal down. Ooh, we got a potion. Nice. Okay, let's come over here. See if we can keep that kobold to sleep. Ah, dang it. When they switch, so when they're either sleeping or wandering, you can dispatch them in one hit. Um, which is obviously very effective. And I'm just hitting the S button when I get into these rooms, these little rooms, just in case. That's The S button is search. And that is a way to see if there's hidden doors. Sometimes there are. Sometimes there's like hidden traps too. You can find that way. Lots of potions. Lots of blood wart. Be a really good time to have a massive battle. Like if I were gonna have a crazy battle, I'd try to like drag them into this room. But I think the blood wart it would heal them too, so it might be counterproductive. Uh, let's throw a dart at the monkey so we can dispatch him in one hit. Otherwise, he's going to steal our stuff anyway. Yeah, see, he can stay out of our range. Throw. Wow, this is a tough monkey. Ah, we need that food too. Okay, there's the down, but we have a little bit more that I want to explore. It's important to get resources, but you also have to balance that out with the time you're spending. The time that you're spending um, because of food. Okay, it's a pit bloat. I really want to know what those staffs do, but But 
But alas, it is not for us to know at this point in our adventure. Oh, nice. So that's the uh, Jekyll was wandering. A flail. We don't have the strength to use that one right now. A rapier. I'm guessing we don't have the strength to use that either. But it will decrease our dirt current damage, and that's because of our penalty. So that's not worth using. Okay. That's the last of it. Now for this level. Level two. Which... Right now it's just a lot of exploring. And I've never, admittedly, have never made it past level five. But I have learned a bit. In our adventures. In my adventures. And I think it will help us in our adventures. This is actually a very... Scale mail, again, we're not going to be able to wear it. Caught him unawares. That's why we got him in one hit. There's blood wart down there, but we don't actually need it. At this point, like, we can 1v1 any enemies that we come across. It's more... If we get like multiple men enemies, men, men enemies. Okay. Oh crap! How do I get? Kill that kobold, and then we want to come. Uh, jackal. Eel, get out of the water. Yeah, we might as well sweat stick in the blood wart. Okay. Want to see what's up here really fast? Ah, those eels can deal a ton of damage. So we want to be careful. Oh, I'm glad we came up here because that food will be very useful. Let's go ahead and kill that. All right, we gotta we gotta heal here for a second because if we don't, that eel will kill us. And this is where things that I've learned where to be a little bit more cautious and reserved, even though. Okay, yeah. Okay, good, we made it. We might have to deal with an eel here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit another blood wart on our way. Just give her a little boost in healing, and then let's go ahead and just go. Oh crap. This is problematic. So the thing with pink jellies is that they will... Here is where I'm going to try something. So I'm wondering if these have to do with magic. It was a staff of poison. Okay, cool. Let's back up into this hole. It might be something where it only works on magical creatures. Oh, the Staff of Lightning. Let's go ahead and throw a dart. So we'll split it again. So here's where we want to try targeting the lowest health jelly first. So we don't have multiple jellies attacking us. This is actually going, knock on wood, a lot better than other playthroughs have. Uh, that I've, to, to learn, I've been playing it a lot. I have it on my laptop too, and I, it's, I'll play it at night for, okay. So we want to be in a strategic position here. I'm going to go ahead and use the Staff of Lightning. Nice, we did quite a bit of damage. And then, if I can get there before they get here. Great, this is not good. We don't wanna let him get behind us.
So I'm just trying to pick out the lower. Our health is getting a little bit low. Okay. Sorry, I'm super quiet because I'm just concentrating. Oh no. Here we go, here we go. Oh, that was super stressful. That was a tough jelly. We're on depth four, so it's time that we might start using potions and stuff. Let's see if we can get this rat in its sleep. So, like, now might be a good time. You know what we're gonna do, though? Let's go back to the staircase. Just in case. And it might be a good time to like maybe try some of these. So that's a potion of levitation. I don't want to try too many of them. Okay, that's good. So let's go ahead and use the other potion of strength. Apply that right away. So now let's look at this flail. So we don't have quite have the strength for the flail. Uh, doesn't quite have enough for the rapier. The banded male. Overlapping strips of metal horizontally in circle train. Banded male. Increase our stealth range by three. The scale male, I think, is what we're going to go ahead and equip because we can. Let's go ahead and add, uh, add that. So. Let's. Wait a couple turns while we don our armor. And let's cautiously, and I say quite cautiously, move forward. Okay, there's a kobold. We can definitely dispatch that at our current health. Ah. Okay, this is a slightly trickier situation. So we're gonna see if we can't use the staff of poison on this guy. He looks very sick. Let's go ahead and see if we can't. Uh oh. Kill these. Oh no. This is a tough situation. I don't think. I don't know, I'm not quite sure what to do here. I could drink one of those potions in the hope that it does something that saves me, but I could end up killing myself in the process. I think I can kill Okay, I was able to do that. Back up. Yeah, this is not good. Let's try the Aquamine. Uh, fire immunity. That's super not helpful. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's, that's the trick of this game though. Like you have to make really difficult decisions and based on limited information. And like, there's no way I would have survived that. So what I should have done is stayed in this, probably stayed here, used the Staff of Lightning and killed that guy. But when I ran, also I could have gotten up here and held off maybe. The thing is he just stood down there and um, that was, that was not the best situation. So guys, the series, I'm probably gonna dial out. We're gonna start over a lot, but I really, really, really am having a lot of fun playing this game and learning it. Like I said, I've never been past step five, so I guess that's probably gonna be our main goal for the series. Um, AFD down to depth 21, I believe. Um, and which seems like it would be easier. It's like, well, 21 levels is not that much, but it gets significantly harder as we go further and further down, obviously. Um, and I am still learning the game. Uh, it might be something where we do like 
six, seven, eight episodes of this and then um, revisit it later on when I'm a little bit better and can kind of do more of a more in depth. I mean, a game like Unreal World, I played that. This is how I felt when I first played Unreal World and this is how everybody feels when they first place the roguelikes. Um, but I definitely wanted to bring roguelikes into the channel more even though I'm not gonna be the best at them because they take a lot of time to really learn them well. So anyways, thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe and I will see you next time on Brogue. Bye bye.